Middlesex's superb season continued as they made it three wins from three in the Vitality Blast. Stevie Eskenazi won the toss for the first time and decided to chase, only to see David Lloyd smash Chris Green over the rope in an opening over which cost 15 runs. But it took Toby Roland Jones only two deliveries to continue his excellent form with the ball, passing behind Lloyd's legs to see him on his way. The Welshman then slipped to 23 for two in the third over, Martin Anderson finding some extra bounce to have Sam Northeast lobbing to Max Holden. Anderson and Roland Jones shared figures of two for 18 from four overs, but Marnus Labashain went after Blake Cullen in the last over of the power play. The Australian striking the ball to the boundary four successive times. He looked as if he was going to enjoy himself at this lovely outground, moving swiftly on to 27 as the visitors got to 51 for two at the end of the fielding restrictions. Labashain next went big off green, the ball heading out of the ground. Middlesex were now in need of stemming the flow of runs. And that was likely once Luke Holman struck with his second legal delivery, again using a tiny change of pace to have Labashain failing to hit where he wanted to, Anderson taking the catch to have the batsman on his way for 38. At the halfway stage of their innings, Glamorgan had slipped to 88 for four, Kieran Carlson swatting Cullen to green on the boundary's edge to four for 21. Three figures were posted in the 12th over, while in the next, Holden pulled off a stunning catch in the deep to remove Chris Cook for 22. Middlesex had dragged the game back nicely on a pitch where 428 runs were scored on Thursday. Five balls later, Tilan Wallalawita trapped Dan Douthwaite in front to leave Glamorgan on 105 for six. That became 122 for seven as the spinner struck for a third time Bowling Michael Nisa for seven. James Whale then put back to ball to try to give his team something to defend. Repeating the dose in the penultimate over, the Welshman entering the last one on 159 for seven. Roland Jones bowled it and taking the pace off, he had Andrew Salter edging to short third man. Finishing with figures of four for 22. Whale holding out to green at long on after making 30. And Michael Hogan picking out Cracknell to the last ball. Glamorgan all out for 168. The reply began in a perfect fashion. Eskenazi timing a shot so well off the first ball that it flew over the rope for six. 14 came off the second. Holden also going large off Nisa. This opening pair once again enjoying life at Radlett. Holden was flying, seemingly making light work of the challenge in front of him. The Morgan were forced to introduce spin in the fourth over, but Holden was in a hurry and launched Salter over the rope as he raced into the 30s. The 50 was up from just 27 deliveries. Eskenazi with back-to-back -back boundaries to have his side in complete control. The total quickly up to 55 after five. So the target was down to 107 with plenty of time to get them. Holden brought out the trick back to hurry things along further. But having made 41 from 21 balls, he swung and he missed his next one and departed having helped his side to 71 for one. Cracknell came in and was soon going the distance as Middlesex eased to 93 at the halfway stage. His first was helped over the mid-wicket boundary, while his next went down and out of the ground. The first half of the chase having been dealt with perfectly, leaving 76 to get. Although they went into the last 10, two down. Eskenazi with a leading edge to offer Salter an easy return catch after making 34. With Owen Morgan being cautious because of a twinge, Holman was promoted to number four and got going with this six. Only to fall, next ball, a nudge into the onside played on the up, allowing Carlson to take a good catch at mid-wicket. 
That would have given Glamorgan some hope, and they then kept things tight until John Simpson struck back-to-back -back boundaries, which had been at a premium in the previous few overs. But Simpson tried to find the rope again, nicked off on 13, he leaving with 48 runs to win from 38 balls. That target was made a lot easier as Cracknell pulled Whale for his third maximum, a shot which showed off his immense power. Anderson then struck another maximum in the same over, a beautifully timed shot which took Middlesex to 140 for four, with five overs remaining from which to find 29 more runs. Their first chase of this season's blast had been done in an ideal fashion. Cracknell decided to try to get the game done and dusted. He moved on to 47 with his fourth six. But was then bowled by Labuschagne, his runs coming from 28 balls, and he left with only eight runs left to get. Before they got over the line though, Anderson was very well held in the deep by Hogan, having made 17. And that left it to Roland Jones to make it three wins from three. They took this match by four wickets with one over to spare, and they now have to wait until Friday before they go again against Sussex at home.